Let's get ready to rumble! All right, listen, 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 listen. All right, if it goes right here, call it low, all right? Now you've already had your instruction. Huge reach advantage, and here we go, round one. For anything, but Mike Tyson is a phenom. Every time he comes in, he's an old. He's not going to let Mike do what Mike wants to do on the inside. Hey, nice. straight right, keeping Tyson under control of the belt. He'll be very anxious. Nice and down, ducked every one of these. He's learned to hold on, which he did with McCall. He is very strong, and he'll also try to tie Tyson up. Uh, their heads off. With the questionable chin. Get off that net, come on. He said he'll try. On Mike's side, he's not bobbing and weaving like he has, and it's coming in pretty straight up. That's the first one he felt the steam. Well, if they were worried about Tyson's ferocity. Tyson's people wanted to bob and roll, be less of a target attack from the angles, and he is. And that Bruno doesn't have the foot speed to compete. Bruno try anywhere. Bruno's going nice right in. Around the side of Tyson's ear and then a left look to the body. Nice effort. And anytime. Oh, here comes Tyson. Tyson with a combination with 20 seconds left in round. You can't fix a chin that was never great to begin with. Up by Tyson. But Bruno comes forward. Seven seconds to go. Here you see where Tyson wobbles him with a big right hand. Right on the button. Sure. Tyson's not going to let that alone. Oh, hey, deep gash. Over the left eye. Since anytime he gets close to, anytime he gets close to Tyson, he holds on. Yeah, Bill Slane trying to take control, and Tyson hey, just loading up. For punching, if he's just worried about holding. He looks like a guy who's just waiting for an hour. Halfway through the second. Less than a minute remaining in round two. I guarantee you. Oh, a left hook by Mike Tyson, flush on the face of Frank Bruno. Another left and a combination by. It was a nice right uppercut by Bruno, crowd oh, reacting on, a little too much. He's not fighting offensively. Right uppercut. Down the side of it. A home run. A home run thrown by Tyson. It just good. In the last round, you see Mike rocking counter with a nice right hand. And here comes the hook. Didn't land clean, but there's more behind that. Mike threw a nice counter right hand. That hurt in the first round. That right hand, that could have been a cut right there. See the, see the heads? Between. This is a similar Mike Tyson, maybe just a little more patient, a pinch heavier, right, well, but I think he's a little Mike, more patient and a little Mike, more disciplined. Bill's lay saying, fight it out, stop holding. You know, people kept wondering what expected. He said he's not looking for the Tyson or Fort McKinley and Mathis. Here's a combination uppercut by Tyson. Tyson laying it on, pouring it on. Down goes Bruno into the ropes. And it is three. Mike Tyson is champion. Take another look at him. Mike lands a body shot there and then the hook. And then what he does best, he comes up, another hook in right hand. You'll see him rip the uppercut. There's bigger angle. Bruno is out. And now it's just a matter of pummeling and finishing the job. The coup de gras. Let's take a look at how Tyson took care of business. Ducked under. A shot under the arm in the legs. And from here on out, a rain of punches, which buckled. He was helpless. If you let Mike Tyson get that kind of leverage with that right uppercut, you will not. The new WBC. Anyway, champion of the world.